Hello everyone. This is Dr. Harshale Patil, HOD UG and PG Department of Computer Engineering. The Computer Engineering Department's vision is to become the Department of National Relevance in the field of Computer Engineering. And the mission is to nurture students with sound engineering knowledge in the field of computing to the effective use of modern tools with a focus on global employability by imbibing leadership qualities, ethical attitude, lifelong learning, and social sensitivity. The Computer Engineering Department offers various programs like BE in Computer Engineering, which is of four years with the intake variety and 18 lateral admissions. MA in Computer Engineering of two years with the intake 18. PhD in Technology with the intake 20. This is regarding the Department of Computer Engineering Infrastructure. We have six designated UG classrooms along with one PG classroom and one tutorial room. Then we have the facility of one GBPS lease line and Wi-Fi facility is also available at most of the places. We have six U3 labs, one PG lab and one PhD research center. We have four seminar halls and multi-purpose zone. The digital library is available at institute level. Along with this, department has a special department library which has 378 books, 84 resource books, 40 multicon books, 13 black books, 30 blue books, and 90 magazines. These are the glimpses of our infrastructure. This is regarding the highlights of the department. Department is accredited by NBA for three years. This is the fourth cycle for undergraduate program with effective from 1st July 2022. The department provides holistic multidisciplinary education with courses that are as per the industry requirements. We conduct program-based examination to motivate students for GATE and such other competitive exams. We follow curriculum which is in accordance with the NAP 2020 directives. The department has professional body which is Computer Society of India, CSI. The department has publication in terms of Nimbus, a ring of knowledge department's e-magazine, CSI bulletin champions newsletter and tech talk e-newsletter. The department organizes national level e-conference which is ACDSIC and international level conference which is ICITM every year. Department has highly qualified and experienced faculty. Nine faculties have completed their PhDs. Twelve faculties are PhD pursuing and twelve are postgraduate. We follow student-teacher ratio of 1 is to 20 as per the norms. It indicates that there is one teacher for 20 students to ensure professional growth and development of educators. There are four MOUs that are signed with industry collaboration with the industry for consultancy projects, outhouse major projects, and internships. The department has consistent result, which is about 90%, with the success rate 97.14%. The department has consistent placement record, which is about 75% out of eligible students. Our students are consistently motivated for participation in various hackathons like Kavach, Deep Blue Hackathons, Smart India Hackathons. Three teams are finalists in Smart India Hackathons and in Grand Finale and won the first prize in the department. There are multiple participation in the project competitions. Two project groups won Avishka 2023 and received fellowship grant at state level. These are some highlights regarding faculty members. Our faculty members provided training in the industries such as INS Hamla, Banking Sector, Air Force Navy, Pradhan Mantri Kaushal Vikas Yojana, etc. The faculties have participated in university and state level project competitions like Abhishkar and won the prizes. We have received minor research grant, IDC grant, fellowship grants and consultancy projects for our technical Book. Faculty members are reviewers in reputed journals like IEEE, Springers, etc. Our faculties are the resource persons for various talks in various short-term training programs and faculty development programs. 
we have total 500 plus publications done by the faculty members out of which 115 papers are published in quality journals with good indexing. We have a technology transfer also, along with 35 plus consultancy projects. Our faculty had published books also. We have seven plus grants, 14 patents and six copyrights in our department. Department offers five domains, which are computing and system design, Communication networking and web engineering, then multimedia system design and development, software development and information management system, and intelligent system design and development. Under this domain, department offers various industry trends related professional elective subjects. These are some glimpses of our domain activities. We conduct sessions like how to convert prototype into product. We conduct various workshops also, project competition, coding competition, like in multimedia system design and development domain, we have conducted a session on how to create video making, animation, then digital marketing, game builder idea, then we organized an IV to Maya Digital Studio at Bodega. Department offers two specialization courses. One is in artificial intelligence and other is data science to offer the honors degree to students. Now let's talk about why to choose computer engineering. There are various reasons for choosing the computer engineering field. Like this field is an exciting and dynamic field. It contributes to technological advancement that shape our world. It offers the opportunity to work with cutting edge technologies, develop innovative solutions, and contribute to technological advancement that shape our world. It provides diverse career opportunities. With the increasing in technology in various industries, computer engineers are in high demand across sectors such as technology, telecommunications, finance, healthcare, automotive, and more. Computer engineering field has is a is in high demand and gives job security. The demand for computer engineers continues to grow. As technology continues to advance, there is a constant need for skilled professionals who can design, develop, and maintain computer systems. It provides competitive salaries. The specialized skills and knowledge that computer engineer possesses make them highly valuable in the job market. This can lead to attractive compensation packages and financial rewards. It gives you entrepreneurship opportunities also. If you have an entrepreneurial mindset, a computer engineering degree can equip you with the technical skills and knowledge needed to start your own tech-focused business or develop your own innovative products and services. It supports for personal fulfillment, being able to contribute to technological advancements, solve complex challenges and see your work come to life can be immensely satisfying. You can challenge the world through your problem solving skills. Like if you enjoy tackling complex challenges and developing innovative technologies, computer engineering can provide a fulfilling and intellectually stimulating career path. Impactful and meaningful work. Whether you're working on healthcare solutions, sustainable technologies, or advancement in communication and connectivity, you have the potential to make a difference in people's lives and contribute to the betterment of society. There is a continuous learning and growth. Pursuing a degree in computer engineering provides you with a solid educational foundation, but it doesn't stop there. You will have the opportunity to continually update your skills and stay up to date with emerging technologies throughout your career. Collaboration and team work. Computer engineering often involves working in interdisciplinary teams and collaborating with professionals from various backgrounds. These are a few opportunities in the field. Like you can work as a data scientist, system analyst, software developer, IT consultant or IT specialist, system engineer or system designer, networking engineer, database administrator, web developer, mobility tester, or business analyst, software testing, software architect. Few are listed over here. 
there are many more job opportunities in this field. This is regarding the significance of computer engineering at the CET. Being the autonomous institute, we follow autonomy curriculum. So for future proofing skills, by enrolling in computer engineering, you ensure that you develop a strong foundation in technology and computing concepts. Through basic sciences courses, engineering sciences and professional courses which are available in our curriculum. Our curriculum supports holistic and multidisciplinary education like activity-based learning, project-based learning and research-based learning. So it gives you platform for creativity and innovation. So computer engineering nurtures creativity and innovation. It encourages students to think creatively, explore new ideas and push the boundaries of what is possible. For impact on society, this branch offers the opportunity to contribute to society and make a positive impact. By enrolling in this department, you are able to develop technologies and solutions that address real world problems through social internships, then NSS, EWT, and Rotaract Club activities. For global connectivity and impact, computer engineering plays a crucial role in enabling global connectivity, in connectivity and communication. The ability to connect people, devices, and systems worldwide has transformed the way we like, believe and work. This, is, uh, this can be possible through outhouse internship activity points, national and international conferences, which we organize every year. For versatility and transferable skills, computer engineers develop expertise in multiple areas such as programming, problem solving, data analysis, and project management. This is possible through our professional open elective courses, specialization courses, professional skills in terms of qualification path, and value education through mandatory courses, HS HSMC courses. For personal interest and passion, Pursuing a career in computer engineering allows them to combine their personal interest with their professional aspirations, leading to job satisfaction. This can be possible through our co-curricular activities like Zephyr, Mark, etc. Students can nurture their hobbies through extracurricular activities like Tease Park, Inertia for sports, Sujon for cultural programs, etc. Thank you. Warm welcome to one and all. I am Dr. Sangeeta Vadkar, HOD, representing the Information Technology Department with you. The Department of Information Technology at Thakur College of Engineering and Technology commands immense respect as prestigious branch of engineering dedicated to exploring a wide range of cutting edge technologies such as full stack developer, web development, software engineering, cloud and analytics, to deliver exceptional analytical and communication solution. Our primary objective is to nurture skilled professionals who not only excel in their field but also possesses a strong sense of social responsibilities. IT department vision is the IT will strive to be at the top position among the renowned providers of IT education. Mission is the IT department is committed to enrich students by rigorously implementing quality education with a focus to make them industry ready while imbibing in them professional ethics and social values to become responsible citizens. Some department highlights are In 2002, IT department has started with 60 UG in tech. In 2003, intake increases to 120. In 2011, ACM professional body formed. PGIT course started in 2008 with 18 intake. In 2011, department received in the accreditation first cycle 
for three years. In 2015, received permanent affiliation of by the University of Mumbai. In 2016, department received NB accreditation second cycle for three years. In 2017, received NAC A grade award for five year. In 2018, we started the PhD IT course with 10 index. In 2019, department received NB accreditation four cycle for three years. In 2019, institute confirmed autonomous status for next 10 year. Autonomy curricular design implemented in 2020. In 2021, aligning program as per the NAP 2020 guideline. In 2022, department received NB accreditation four cycle for three years. This is department profile, IT department established in the year 2002 with an initial intake of 60 undergraduate student. Our department has since expanded its capacity to accommodate 180 students. In addition to undergraduate program, we proudly offer postgraduate and PhD program providing comprehensive educational opportunities for all the aspiring IT professional at every level. The Department of Information Technology at Thakur College of Engineering and Technology stands as a distinguished institution with a focus and on information technology, boasting 23 exceptional faculty members, including three professors, three associate professors, and 19 assistant professors. Our faculty members are highly accomplished with six holding PhD and nine actively pursuing doctoral degrees, ensuring a cutting edge, up-to-date educational experience and research-oriented environment. There are four faculty members who are approved as a PhD guides by University of Mumbai. We also have two laboratory assistants and four laboratory and for supporting the laboratory work. In infrastructure, we have six classrooms, one ME classroom, one tutorial room. We have six UG labs. We have one ME lab, one PhD lab that is shared among the PhD post. Two faculty rooms. We have three meeting rooms. We have one departmental library in that we have 900 plus books. We have some shared resources, seminar hall 3, multi-purpose rooms and digital library. With respect to department, these are the, some glimpses of the you know, labs. This is the HOD cabin, faculty, cabins and the lab. Looking to domain, at the Department of Information Technology, we empower our students with the diverse range of specialization domain to fare their passion and career aspiration. We offer five distinct domain to choose from, ensuring a comprehensive education that align with the evolving IT landscape. Our specialization options includes uh, artificial intelligence and machine learning software programming and development information communication technology we have uh, software programming and the development that is a spd information communication technology database technology and web technology and e-commerce to enhance the learning experience our esteemed faculty members are strategically divided into these domain this approach allows students to receive personalized guidance from experts who specialize in their choose field the faculty extensive knowledge and the experience serve as invaluable resources as they mentor and support students in implementing practical projects aligned with their area of specialization by offering this well-defined domains we aim to equip our students with 
deep understanding and proficiency in the specific area that interests them the most. This tailored approach enables them to acquire in-demand skills, ensuring they are well prepared to tackle real-world challenges and excel in their chosen domain upon graduation. Embark on transformative educational journey where students can choose their path and specialize in one of the cutting-edge domain offered by the Department of Information Technology. Regarding development of autonomy at TCAT, prior to the autonomy, the department followed the curriculum set by the University of Mumbai. However, after autonomy, the department strengthened its courses to align with industry equipments. The curriculum now includes skill oriented courses, internship opportunities, and major and minor programs. We also introduce holistic student development components. Program offering under autonomy, the department focus on emerging areas of engineering and technology, offering employability skill development and holistic multidisciplinary scheme. Extraordinary credits for the national level achievements. Students are also doing some specialized course and online courses done through SWAYAM and MOOC portals. Department also offered two specialization courses in infrastructure security and blockchain technology. The students can pursue this specialization program and receive honor degree. Looking for the development of student to support the overall development of student. The department encourages activity-based learning, project-based learning, and research-based learning. These activities aim to foster research culture, enhance practical skills, and provide all-round personality development. In ABL, we are conducted personality, personality development, extempore speech, blog writing, drama, skill, etc activities the courses intend to deliver the understanding of concept of critical thinking encouraging the students to look beyond their textual knowledge establish the relationship between the theory and the application of the learn concept in pbl project based learning is a teaching method in which the student learn by actively engaging in real world and meaningful project. Students work on project that engages them in solving real world problem or answering a complex question. As a result, <coughs> students develop deep content knowledge as well as critical thinking, collaboration, creativity and communication skills. In research-based learning, research-based learning is conducted for the final year and the third year students to standard their project quality and the research work. Here, we are conducting the different activities like paper writing, blog writing, business model, teaching model. These are the values, they are, these are the activities we are conducted in RBL for the value creation for final year projects. Department is also offering professional skill programs like cloud infrastructure analyst and cloud architecture. Here the department follows the NASCOM qualification pack to complete the certification course. In institute, depart, in institute 
the esd the employability skill development program we are conducting we are conducting the employability skill development program this program helps students become a industry ready by bringing in expert from the industry to teach the course the training and placement cell conducted this program department is also offering internship to the students the internship is offered during vacation that is summer and winter period there are two types of internship offer as in house internship and out of house internship in house internship where the students offer four to six week of internship at the institute level where industry experts conducted the program in collaboration with the department faculty members in out house internship provides the industry exposure to the students where the students spend time with this industry and learns the industry interaction industry expectation and culture for their overall development there are lot of scope in it schools as the industry prospect to course some of them as the system software and then the application development in security and database it infrastructure and mainframe etc looking forward to the placement there are many fortune 100 and 500 companies coming to campus for the recruitment of it students like amazon accenture jp morgan take main that to see the captain etc institute has a dedicated hsc cell which guides students to pursue higher education in india and abroad the alumni achieved after completing their higher education are listed here department conducted various events and engagement such as the industrial visit domain activities then technical seminars the department conducted different webinars project competition students are also participating in smart india hackathon we are also conducting industry experts lectures on different topic student have achieved various milestone and won the trophies at various co curricular and extra curricular events like the sujon and t spark overall the department of information technology overall the department of information technology at thakur college of engineering and technology has a strong faculty well equipped set of art infrastructure and a curriculum that focuses on industry equipment and skill development the department aims to produce competent and social responsible engineers who can contribute to the growth of technology in partnership with industry so join us to transform the field and embark on transformative journey in information technology thank you so much have a good day hello everyone the department of btech artificial intelligence and data science welcomes you all for the presentation the flow of the presentation is going to include program and course department background skill oriented activities extension knowledge student services co and extra curricular activities student advancements and career prospects 
Extensive research in the area of artificial intelligence and data science has led to super specialization of computer engineering, which has emerged as a branch within itself and is offered in the form of BTEC AI and data science. The integration of AI and data science is going to create a revolutionary change in the coming decade and provide opportunities for budding engineers. While choosing the department, one has to keep in mind that it is growing in demand. There are various technological adva advancements which are happening right now. It provides impactful solution. The domain artificial intelligence and data science is interdisciplinary in nature. It provides you the versatility, versatility and it provides the continuous learning and growth. It also provides you with the high remuneration. The program design for the Department of Artificial Intelligence and Data Science is choice-based credit grading system with holistic multidisciplinary education. Academic curriculum includes courses from background like basic science courses, engineering science courses, program core courses, professional elective courses, open elective courses, HSMC courses, and mandatory courses. It includes the holistic multidisciplinary education in the form of project-based learning, research-based learning, activity-based learning, professional skills, and industry practices. Internship and activity points are also included in the curriculum. Internship will be in the break of summer and winter, and there are 100 activity points which the student has to accumulate in each academic year. The sector-based domains are identified by the department, which are fintech, agri-tech, education, entertainment, and hospitality, manufacturing, retail, and e-commerce, life sciences, and pharmaceuticals. These are the areas where artificial intelligence and data science is widely applicable, and these covers more or less all the sectors where uh, the AI and data science are applicable. For professional skills, the department has identified two courses which are in link with NSQF and the NSQF level six and seven are covered with these courses. The courses offered as data quality analyst one, data quality analyst two, and AI data scientist one, AI data scientist two. The vision of the department is to become the department of eminence in the emerging technology area and create technologists for providing solution to 21st century problem. Mission of the department is the department of BTEC AI and DS is committed to inspire and create technologists with analytical data centric and creative mindset, having leadership qualities and ethical attitude who can offer transparent and inclusive solution for the development of society and achievement of the national goals with innovative technologies and smarter services. The department was established in the academic year of 21-22. The course offered is BTEC Artificial Intelligence and Data Science. From e academic year 22-23, the intake for the UG uh, batch is 120 and the lateral entry is 12. There are total six faculties in the department right now, out of which one is associate professor and five are assistant professor. The ratio followed for the student is two faculty is 20 is to one. The average experience of the department is 4.5, 4.7 years. Number of faculty with PhD completion is one. Number of course domains offered by the department are five. Number of labs for the department are six. Number of classrooms, three. There are 850 plus books which are available for the reference for the students. The Society for Data Science is the professional body which is proposed for the department. Mem membership of the student is with CSI and S4DS for now. Social chapter which the students are following from the institute are NSS, EWT and Rotrack. The department publishes Pragyan Department e-magazine every semester. Skill-oriented activities which are followed by the department for the enhancement of knowledge and skill uh, amongst the students. Industry expert sessions and alumni interaction session, wherein the alumni of the department, uh, for now, computer department, and then first batch will be passed out. After that, the department students will come for the interaction with the students to uh, enhance the knowledge the uh, of, of the AI and data science field, the technological advancements that are happening in the field of it, artificial intelligence and data science. There are sector-specific domain activities five domains are identified by the department. Under each domain, the students are selecting their interest domain and the activities are carried out under them. 
the department also has internship in the form of in-house and out-house. In-house internship is of two types, social internship and technology internship, for which the department has MOU with the industry and the NGO. Out-house internship where the student has to go out in the industry and uh, perform uh, the uh, 120 hours, 160 hours of internship there in the company and come with the report and the certification from the industry. There are various workshops and webinars are carried out for the uh, students of artificial intelligence and data science. Hackathon participation is encouraged from the students uh, for the uh, for the skill development. Technical seminar industry visits are also part of the skill oriented activities for the department. Under the extension knowledge, the department has identified courses in the form of level one, level two, and level three. Level one courses are offered for the second year students. Level three courses, level two courses are offered for the third year technology student, and level three courses are offered for the final year students. Second year students are offered with the fundamental courses like artificial intelligence and data analytics with Python. As a semester of five, which is third year students are offered with these industry certified courses, IBM Data Science Professional Certificate, Google Data Analytics Professional Certificate and Microsoft Certified Azure AI Fundamental Certificate. These all courses are self-paced and self-learning courses. At level three, which is a final year student, there we are offering the courses from various background, which will cover the multidisciplinary background in the form of the sectors identified by the department, FinTech, Education, Entertainment and Hospitality, Agritech, Life Sciences and Pharmaceutical and Manufacturing, Retail and E-Commerce. Various services are offered to the students in the form of teacher guardian uh, book, wherein the 20 students are allocated to one teacher and the teacher acts as a mentor for them, which uh, the student uh, is Student follows with teacher guardian for three academic years and the uh, teacher guardian takes care of the mental and professional uh, mental and professional behavior of the uh, mentee. Professional student counselor is present in the institute ERP software to take care of the attendance. The student can check the attendance. Students can also check the notes. Uh, students can get their uh, monthly attendance and their uh, marks in, in the in-semester examination. So ERP software is provided for the students. Exam cell takes care of all the examination. HOC cell takes care of all the activities which are carried out for the uh, uh, post-graduation or uh, for the studies, those who are interested in. Training and placement cell takes care of all the activities which are there for the training of the student and finally the placement of the students. Counseling at the department level is done when uh, it is necessary. Resource books are made available for the students to take reference from. Co and extracurricular activities uh, where the students take part. The photographs are the activities which are carried out in the department under the mind bender focus student focus group and the deep learning hackathon there are various other activities which are called as zephyr in sojourn t spark road track which are at the institute level where the student can participate and showcase their knowledge and skills student achievements uh, of academic year 22-23 in the form of toppers of semester 3 and semester 5 with almost 10 pointers Student achievement in the form where the student has outperformed other than the studies. So there are various students who have uh, completed data analyst associate certification from NASCOM and other students have received either first prize or have won medals in the games. The career prospects for the artificial intelligence and data science domain, the candidate can go as a data scientist in the company or machine learning engineer or a database developer or a business analyst, business intelligence developer, a big data engineer or an architect and data analyst. These are just few, but there are many more positions where the students can apply as a graduate from artificial intelligence and data science. These are few of the companies where the student can 
apply and get recruit to and there are many more companies which are offering as we have mentioned that there are various sector under which artificial intelligence and data science is working so there are various sector companies which are offering jobs to the data scientist data analyst and artificial intelligence engineer thank you everyone Joyful greetings and welcome in Department of Artificial Intelligence and Machine Learning at Thakur College of Engineering and Technology. Department vision is to become a department of international relevance in the field of artificial intelligence and machine learning. Department mission is to nurture the students with sound engineering knowledge through the effective use of modern tools with a focus on local and global employability as an A and ML professional by imbibing leadership qualities, ethical attitude, lifelong learning and social sensitivity. Department highlight in academic year 21-22 department established with an intake of 60 students, 22-23 formation of professional body ACM SIGA and Super AI Community Stakeholder Connect Club uh, took place to conduct various branch specific co-curricular activity. Published a departmental magazine Tejas and ACM SIGA AI newsletter. Organized institute annual conference and workshop ICAC in 2023. Targets, uh, targeted goals for academic year 23-24 are industry collaboration for various academic activities such as industry courses, internship, FDPs, technical seminars, etc. To bring research culture in a form of funded project patent quality publication and consultancy. We have total six lab, two cl classrooms. Our faculty strength is nine, that is 20 to one student teacher. Ratio. Program BTEC AIML is based on AI. Artificial intelligence is a simulation of human intelligence in machines that can learn, reason, and make decisions. ML machine learning is a practice of enabling computers to learn from data and improve their performance without being explicitly programmed. AI and ML are rapidly evolving and have a significant impact on various industries. AI and ML professionals are in high demand across the globe. The skills of AI and ML will enable you to contribute to the development of innovative solutions. After completion of program BTEC AI and ML, student will get job opportunities, higher study opportunity and entrepreneurship opportunities. Entry level average salary is 10 lakh per annum for AI and ML engineer. As per the World Economic Forum study, AI will create 133 million new jobs by 2025. Branch is emerging, so a lot of scope for research, which lead to higher study opportunities. AI market will be $90 billion by 2025, as calculated by IDC and Bloomberg, which will create opportunities for startups and innovation. In current academic year, scheme and syllabus is revised and made aligned with NEP 2020. We added components like interdisciplinary courses, multidisciplinary minor and honor degree, multiple entry and multiple exit by including professional skills and industry practices. To become and successful AI and, AI and ML engineer. Here is a roadmap. Students should aware with the applications of artificial intelligence. Then strong ma mathematical and programming foundation. Followed by it, methodologies related to data processing, machine learning and deep learning, data visualization, with the help of business intelligence tools. Here are sectors of artificial intelligence and machine learning department. We identify, identified five sectors, agri-tech, healthcare, security, gaming, social benefits. 
here is a list of suitable job roles under each sectors and also skill required to get a job in that particular sectors or overall with respect to all sectors so skill required are strong mathematical foundation proficiency in statistical tool and various programming languages the knowledge of artificial intelligence and machine learning neural network and deep learning experiential learning for natural language processing soft computing and ai and machine learning algorithm major company companies hiring ai and ml professional are open ai linkedin ibm amazon etc ai and ml technology can be applied for real time applications such as virtual personal assistant smart home smart car intelligent chatbot plagiarism checker smart email categorization recommenders automatic test summarization domestic and industrial robot driverless self driving car then deep learning augmented reality self engine optimization etc people travel people travel over 1 billion kilometers with the help of google map in more than 220 countries the company is using ai and ml model to predict the traffic and travel time google map analyzes historical traffic pattern combine this database of historical traffic pattern with a live traffic condition machine learning algorithm generate prediction based on both sets of data in this academic year we have revised our scheme hme 2023 according to nep 2020 and ncrf a framework which is of 174 credits and op optional 18 credits for specialization courses owner or and or minor degree and three achiever credits 174 uh, credit categorization is as follow humanities and social science including management courses hs mc uh, with 14 credits basic science courses bsc with 25 credits engineering science courses esc with 26 credits professional elective courses with 14 credits open elective courses with 9 credits project work seminar internship with 15 credits hme abl ppl rpl with 3 credits hme uh, professional skill and industry practices with 13 credits and additionally we included mandatory courses also here is a list of uh, bsc hsmc and esc subjects for pcc sub in a category of pcc program core subject we included computer aligned subjects as uh, we need to uh, prepare our students for various competitive exam as well as we included ai ml foundation subjects in pcc we included ai and ml thread and sector specific courses in open elective subject we included interdisciplinary subjects in uh, professional skill and em employability skill that is industry practices we included skill based uh, subject areas which will make our students industry ready also we included industry linked certification hme abl pbl rbl is for overall holistic development of students abl will take care of personality development pbl project based learning will give you innovative method for project development and rbl will give students research methodologies which will help students to develop a product as well as convert their project into product here is a list of mandatory courses attitude and uh, aptitude development environmental studies indian constitution to expose students to so societal and lifelong learning we are offering internship in all semester first semester internship uh, first all sem uh, semesters first year internship is uh, specifically technical internship second year along with technical internship we are 
providing social internship also. We have a collaboration with NGO Smriti Foundation for the same purpose. Third year students are going uh, for uh, outhouse internship and final year uh, we have one semester dedicated internship from this current batch. We have an offering of specialization with honor degree with 18 credits. Here we offered all MOOC of courses, MOOC certification courses, AIML fundamental and sector specific courses. Along with this specialization honor, we have a specialization with minor degree also. In this, there are various tracks, performing arts, life sciences, mathematical computing, finance management, and life skills with 18 credits. For all round development of students, we are offering stu uh, students HME or autonomy curriculum, as well as at department level, we conduct PSR activities, which are branch specific, which includes industry sessions, peer learning sessions, alumni sessions, along with that competitions, which are based on recent trends, such as uh, chat GPT, prompt writing for chat, chat GPT, etc. Professional body activities are normally national level activities, conducting seminars, uh, webinars, and competitions, and involving outside participants also. We have regular technical seminars and webinar provision every semester. Along with department level at co-curricular activities, we have institute level uh, various co-curricular and extracurricular activities, R&D activities, training and placement and higher studies activity, as well as extension activities, NSS, Rotaract and EWT. This all activity will develop all round development and attain all graduate attribute or program outcomes, which are listed here, 12 graduate attributes. Here are the glimpses of activities conducted in the department, in classroom and laboratory. Come to student faculty achievements. Our students are participating in interdepartment, state, uh, national and international level program contests, uh, project exhibitions, project competitions, and hackathons, as well as student students are winners at various competitions as listed here. Also, students are winner for various sports activities. Our 10 AIML students are toppers with 10 pointers. One AIML second year student is with 10 pointers. One student of third year offered an internship come full job offer of 38 lakhs per annum by JP Morgan London. 137 students and all faculty members completed NASCOM qualification pack machine learning engineer. Total 60 plus, 60 plus publications are published by faculty and students. Faculty members conducted training to Air Force and Indian Navy officers. Here are the testimonials given by parents of our students. First, I will re read it out. Good support by teachers and supportive curriculum for overall development. The institute has very good infrastructure, excellent faculties, and helpful administrative staff. Faculties are very keen in all-round development of students by continuous assessment, encouraging participation in seminar, publication, and knowledge sharing. Thank you. A very warm welcome to you all. I, Dr. Vidyadri Singh, Head of Department of Computer Science and Engineering in Cybersecurity, welcome you all and I'm here to present about the department. This is the flow of the presentation. I would be covering about the department background, program and courses, the domains, the lab and class infrastructure, the various industry collaborations, the student achievements, the activities conducted, 
and the career opportunities. I would like to begin with the department vision and mission. The department vision says to become a department of high repute by imparting the quality education and excel in the field of cybersecurity. The department mission is committed to deliver and nurture students with the knowledge and skill set in the field of cybersecurity to make them competent professionals and develop in them the leadership qualities, ethical attitude, lifelong learning, and the mindset to contribute effectively towards the industry and society. Now we'd like to share about the department background. In today's interconnected world, the risk of cyber attacks has significantly increased. It is important to learn how to safeguard our privacy online and also gain a deeper understanding of the complex challenges faced due to this. Now, with a rapidly evolving nature of the digital landscape, there is a growing demand for cybersecurity professionals, making it a promising field to explore. As per the AICT Emerging Technology Mandate, and to fulfill the sophisticated and continuously evolving cybersecurity trends, which are aimed at providing security over sensitive data, TCT introduces B Computer Science and Engineering in Cybersecurity course by offering a comprehensive curriculum to produce the next generation of cybersecurity experts. This course will help students to pursue their careers in cybersecurity, which will help them to possess the required skill set to protect valuable, sensitive data and also to predict the future vulnerabilities and get industry ready. This course has been introduced in the year 21-22 with 60 intake and the department has been formalized in academic year 22-23. At the aim is to provide education against cyber crimes and attacks occurring in the world in the era of the internet. The program structure is based on the choice-based credit grading scheme with holistic and multidisciplinary education, which we say as CBCGS HME, an industry-relevant curriculum and infrastructure facilities as per the industry standards. At TCT, our comprehensive curriculum equips the students with the skills to protect individuals, organization, and society from cyber threats. Our advanced computer labs and specialized environments offer practical and real-world experience. Our esteemed faculty brings industry experience and academic knowledge to the classroom, providing personalized attention and mentorship. Now I would like to highlight about the program and courses. The four year undergraduate curriculum includes sound preparation in basic sciences like mathematical foundations, core computer engineering subjects like data structure, operating system, and cybersecurity related subjects like fundamentals of cybersecurity to ethical hacking and many more. This course will not only help the students to pursue their career in computer engineering, but also open doors to explore the world of cybersecurity. As the course advances, the specialized courses, it covers the concepts related to cybersecurity, right from the basics to the advanced. The cybersecurity related subjects include the fundamentals of information security, cyber defense, ethical hacking, cybersecurity risk management, cryptography, network security, secure programming, ethical hacking, vulnerability and penetration testing, cybersecurity laws, cybersecurity for social media, and many more. As I've already highlighted, the program structure that is based on the choice-based credit grading scheme with holistic and multidisciplinary education, the curriculum focuses on the holistic multidisciplinary education in the form of project-based learning, activity-based learning, and research-based learning, which are covered to improve the various skills amongst the students. Now, talking about the domains in the field of cybersecurity and covering the aspect of computer science and engineering, the following domains have been identified, which are the secure software design and development, the security architecture and design, the communications and network security, the cybersecurity and artificial intelligence, 
and the multimedia systems and cyber security. Hence, the various professional electives that are offered are aligned with these domains, which forms a career path for the students in the as a part of the curricula. This is a glimpse of the lab and the class infrastructure, which is under the department at TCT. So you can see here, this is, these are the labs, and this is the classroom setup, which is well equipped with the ICT. These are the industry collaborations. We have tied up with Cyber Peace Foundation, AAG Engineering Technologies, IntelliBlock Technologies, and Pristine Info Solutions for industry-oriented courses, outhouse internships, and for the students for various uh, internship opportunities, as well as uh, the pre-placement opportunities as well. These are some of the student achievements. You can see here that some of the students uh, have participated and won the sixth position uh, in which they have presented their startup ideas and they won the sixth position out of 100 new startup ideas. One of our student was also selected out of 2,000 competitors in top 200 in youth climate, climate conclave and it was put in display at the Italian embassy in Delhi. One of our student is also elected by the government, unveiling the reality of rural India, in which he and his team did a research on the rural development in Sitabdiara village. Some more achievements include a group of students who won the first prize for the poster presentation at Multicon W 2023, which was organized at TCT for their project title, Schedule Timetable Reminder Software for Students. Our students are actively involved in sports as well. So one of our uh, student member is an active member of the college cricket team and has participated in various in-house and out-house sport competitions. One of our students also won the second place in badminton doubles, which was held by the Rotrack Club of TCT. Again, a group of students who has secured a national level startup competition. They have secured the sixth position and were also selected for one of the government startup competition as well. A group of students also won the first prize for article writing in e-Raksha competition, which was jointly organized by NCRT, Cyber Peace Foundation and UNESCO. Now I would like to take you through the various activities which are conducted and as a part of the curriculum and the subject enrichment, various activities like guest lectures, technical seminars, and industry professionals are invited to deliver the sessions so that they can uh, enrich their knowledge and give a real-time exposure about the industry. So we had conducted the guest lectures on even technical topics like network layer, cybersecurity, cybercrime, and we had guest lectures on personality development, stress management. You can see the glimpses here. Uh, these are the glimpses from the technical seminars on network security, cybersecurity best practices, and UPI security, which is obviously the need of the R. This was the session by the domain experts on cybersecurity and cybercrime. We also give the students a practical exposure and promote the industrial learning where the students are taken to various industries which are relevant to the cybersecurity as well as the computer science and engineering. So students visited APAR info systems and IntelliBlock technologies, which were primarily the base of computer science and engineering and cybersecurity, where they have gained a practical exposure about the industrial uh, working and, and the various projects in which the companies are involved into. The industrial visit was also organized to the server room where the students got a entire practical uh, knowledge about how the entire network of the organization is laid out and uh, which has definitely enhanced their subject knowledge. And uh, the visit to the train management system at the DRM office uh, at the Western Railway Division also gave them a real time uh, exposure about how the entire train management system works. So these activities help the students and the faculty to connect to, to the industry and gain the recent trends and to technologies which are used in the industry and give them a practical exposure. 
we connect with various alumni of other department uh, for career guidance. So there was a session which was conducted for cracking the various security certification courses, which will help them for their further studies. So career guidance to crack the CompTI security certification courses, GRE and ILTS was organized and students got benefited from the same. The various rich skill enhancement activities was all, are also conducted uh, on regular basis to enhance the research skill of the students because many students are inclined towards uh, the research and uh, the department encourages uh, and provides various platforms for presenting their research work. The Department of Cybersecurity promotes the cyber safety campaign by conducting various programs in collaboration with the Cyber Peace Foundation and many similar industry which works for the cyber safe environment. So the cyber safety awareness campaigns are conducted to promote the awareness among, among the various user groups about creating a cyber safe environment. Next is about the internship. The department provides the in-house technical internship on the tracks, robotic process automation and secure mobile app development. It has also provided the social internship in association with the Cyber Peace Foundation. As you all know, the Department of Cybersecurity is one of the emerging areas and it is necessary for the faculty members also to equip with the latest trends and technologies uh, in the field of cybersecurity. Hence, various faculty development programs are conducted so that the faculty members upskill themselves and get certified to be in the field of cybersecurity. Now, talking about the various career prospects, which is, I feel, the most awaited part of this presentation. So, according to a report by Fortune Business Insights, the global cybersecurity market is anticipated to reach a size of 424. 0.97 billion dollars by 2030. So qualified professionals in the field of cybersecurity can indeed expect promising career prospects. Career opportunities include the critical infrastructure security, network security, cloud security, application system security, user security, internet of things security and many more. As you can see, the various job roles are mentioned here, cybersecurity analyst, Computer System Analyst, Database Administrator, Cybersecurity Manager, Computer Network Architect, Network System Administrator, Security Engineer, Chief Information Security Officer, Data Analyst, Blockchain Developer, Engineer, Network Security Engineer, Software Application Developer, Web Developer, and many more. If you see the major cybersecurity job roles, it has the lucrative packages and like the ethical hacker, information security crime investigator, information security auditor, security consultant, information security analyst, network engineer, administrator, and many more. Hence, upon completion, our graduates excel in sectors such as government agencies, financial institutions, and technology companies. So join TCET to start your journey in cybersecurity, explore possibilities, gain hands-on experience, and make a positive impact and be a part of our community of cyber defenders. My best wishes to all. Thank you very much. This is Lena Chakraborty, Department Coordinator of Electronics and the Computer Science Department. Good morning, everyone, dear students and the parents. On the behalf of the Electronics and the Computer Science Engineering Department of Thakur College of Engineering and Technology, Mumbai, I, on behalf of the department, welcome you all for the briefing about the department. This briefing is prepared, keeping in the mind the aspiring students who wish to pursue engineering in Electronics and Computer Science Engineering Department. I'm confident that this will help you all and boost your understanding about the electronics and computer science stream. Coming to the programs and the courses, the Department of Electronics and Computer Science 
offers four years of Bachelor of Engineering program. The Department of Electronics Engineering started from the academic year 2008-2009 with an intake of 60. The program structure is based on the choice-based credit grading scheme with the holistic and multidisciplinary education. The Department of Electronics Engineering has been already accredited for the three years by NBA with effect from the 1st July 2022 in the third cycle. Till date, 11 batches have successfully passed out since the year 2012. The department is renamed as Electronics and the Computer Science, started from the academic year 2020-21 with an intake of 60. The department graduation rate has always been more than 98%. The department strives to establish the new academic standards that will be widely accepted by the industry professionals around the world and addresses the pressing issues facing the academia, industry, and the society. Next is the interdisciplinary nature of electronics and the computer science stream. This will explain what is uh, electronics and computer science, why to choose electronics and computer science engineering. We talk about the interdisciplinary nature in the fields of electronics and the computer science. The electronics and the computer science incorporates the elements from both the disciplines to create integrated computer systems. The electronics and the computer science engineering focuses on electronic circuits, communication systems, and signal processing. It may have overlaps with computer science in the areas such as networking and the data communication. The electronics engineering provides the fundamental knowledge and the skills necessary for computer engineers to design, develop, and troubleshoot hardware components, embedded systems, power management, signal processing, and communication systems. It is the age of information processing, data science, artificial intelligence, and big data analytics. The world is looking for Automation with efficiency for productivity and the better performance. There are advancement in medical electronics, entertainment and the gaming industry. There is emerging challenges in cyber world as well. These disciplines have transformed various sectors. Electronics and the computer science will help the engineers to facilitate seamless connectivity and communication worldwide. In the present era, along with the domain knowledge, an engineer should have the good programming skills. This is true for all the engineers. Regarding the department resources, we have 10 faculty members out of which the associate professors are two, assistant professors are eight. The student faculty ratio is 20 is to one. Our department average faculty experience is more than 18 years. They have expertise in different domains like communication, engineering, artificial intelligence, robotics and automation, software engineering, etc. The department is having eight labs equipped with the state-of-the-art facilities. The number of classrooms are two. The classrooms are air conditioning with internet facility, computer, an overhead projector for interactive session. The department has a library with more than 400 books and more than 100 project books in the room number 114. The department have the ownership of professional body, IETE, Institution of Electronics and Telecommunication Engineers, which provide the common platform for student members to exchange the ideas on emerging trends. The Department of Electronics and Computer Science have a very good rapport and understanding with industry and the NGO. We believe that for overall development of students will happen if there is a strong connect between the department, faculty, students and the industry. We have signed MOU with the industry for the same and showing the significant improvement in performance of our department students. The department has two MOUs 
one is the junoon foundation the other one is greta electric scooter the response is very encouraging the industry expert are involved in guiding the projects evaluation of presentation conferences seminars etc we have total 10 faculty members dr hemant kasturi wale associate professor and head of the department of encs mrs jyoti kori assistant professor deputy head of the department of encs and other faculty members out of 10 faculty members two are with phd and six are pursuing phd this is a life at tct of electronics and computer science department these are the highlights of the department showing some of the glimpses of various activities like the industrial visit electronics exhibition visit iit workshops and the seminars zephyr and sujon events coming to the domains and the courses the electronics and the computer science engineering courses typically cover a wide range of domains to provide the students with a comprehensive understanding of the field here are some the first domain the electronics industry and the applications this domain focuses on the design and the implementation of digital systems digital integrated circuits and the system level design using hardware description languages like vhdl or verilog the second domain programming data structures and algorithms this domain covers the fundamental data structures and algorithms used in computer science and engineering it includes the topics such as linked list stacks queues trees graphs sorting algorithms searching algorithms and complexity analysis the next one operating systems and the networking domain this domain refers to the field of study and the practice that focuses on the design implementation and the management of operating systems and the computer networks it involves understanding the underlying principles and the technologies that enable the efficient and reliable operation of the computer systems and the seamless communication between them the fourth one is the computing system it encompasses the various aspects related to the hardware software networks and the interaction between these components to create efficient and reliable computing systems the last and the fifth domain is the security and the it applications it involves the development implementation and the management of security measures and the technologies to safeguard the information and mitigate the risk there are faculties uh, who are domain in charges and the other faculty members are associated with all these five domains here are the some of the technologies the students are going to learn in electronics and computer science stream coming to the career opportunities there are various career options available for encs students the industrial advancements and digitalization have paved the way for numerous careers in the field of computers and electronics the future scope for graduates in electronics and the computer science engineering is promising as these fields continue to expertise 
the rapid growth and offer numerous career opportunities some of the emerging career opportunities are listed here in the field of electronics and computer science like network engineer systems analyst data scientist project manager the graduates can pursue research careers in academia or industrial research labs contributing to the cutting edge advancements in electronics computer science and related fields additionally the graduates can also explore traditional career paths in software development hardware engineering product management management system analysis and project management across the industries like technology telecommunications automotive aerospace healthcare and many more it is important to know that these areas are dynamic and the new technologies and opportunities may emerge in the future to stay competitive the graduate should continue to upskill keep abreast of industry needs and adapt to the evolving demands of the market the students achievements of the academic year 2022-23 are listed here the students are given the opportunities to participate in various technical fest sports and cultural activities the academic toppers uh, vinay manala of b elex uh, secure 9.71 cgpa Asha Sharma of S E L X secured ten C G P A. Then Sudan Shu Singh of T E L X secured ten C G P A. We have the student services like the placements, internships, in-house and the out-house internships, higher studies, and the teacher <laughs> guardianship. before they go for placements the students they undergo various uh, training programs like the student development program aptitude competency training employability skill development program campus connect program by infosys career development training you all can see the various sectors and the companies where the students can find a place and become employable so regarding the hoc details the tct has higher education online courses and certification cell in order to help the student to understand his or her final dream and make the right career decision in a sensible manner here is a student list shown where the students have taken the admissions for higher studies in various universities universities abroad so 2022 batch students then 2023 batch students thank you warm greetings to one and all welcome to the department of electronics and telecommunication of thakur college of engineering and technology one of the most common branches of engineering electronic and telecommunication engineering is the basic of all electronic devices and communication technologies the ideal mind for electronics and communication engineering has to be excellent in logical and scientific attitude all this adds to make electronics and telecommunication one of the most desirable streams in the engineering sector right now as a department we envision to develop internationally competent professionals with a sense of responsibility and social sensitivity to fulfill this vision we envisage a mission to impart professional education endowed with human values using active learning techniques to transform the students to be competent and committed engineers capable of providing engineering solutions with social sensitivity view of the department how it has evolved over a period of years we started in the year 2002 with an intake of 60 students in ng the very next year we increased our intake to 120 the
The PG program in ENTC started in 2008 with an intake of 18 students. In 2011, the department went for the first cycle of MD accreditation for a period of three years. In 2014, the technology program in PhD started in with an intake of 10 students. In 2015, we got permanent affiliation by University of Mumbai. In 2016, we went for the second cycle of MD accreditation for a period of three years. In 2017, the institute was awarded A grade by NAC for a period of five years. In 2018, we got the extension of the NAC accreditation by two more years. In 2019, we got the MB accreditation again for three years in the third cycle. In 2019, the institute was conferred autonomous status for the next 10 years. In 2022, we went for the fourth cycle of NB accreditation for a period of three years. This is the department profile. This tech heaven is known for its excellent faculty and the great tech model in electronics and telecommunication. Head of the department and faculty members of the department are committed to foster the growth of intellectually capable, innovative and entrepreneurial professionals who shall contribute to the growth of technology in partnership with industry and develop and harness it for the welfare of the nation and mankind. We have 120 students as intake of UG plus 12 additional direct second year admissions. There are 18 PG students and 10 students in PhD. To total, we have 22 faculty members in the department currently, of which six members are PG recognized faculty. Amongst the faculty members, three are professors, one is adjunct professor, one, five are associate professors and 12 assistant professors. The strength of the department lies in the highly competent faculty, Nine faculty members are with PhD, four faculty members are currently pursuing their PhD program, and nine faculty members are already post-graduated with any or MD. There are six faculty members who are approved as PhD guides by University of Mumbai. We also have six laboratory assistants for supporting with the laboratory work. In the infrastructure, we have four UG classrooms, one PG classroom, and one tutorial room. We have six labs for UG sector, one PG lab and one PhD lab, which is shared by all the PhD programs. In the infrastructure, we have one HOD cabin, one faculty room and one meeting room. We have a department library with more than 830 books. Amongst the shared resources, we have three seminar halls, one multipurpose room and one central library. Department offers six different domains for the students to foster in the direction of his or her liking. The faculty members are divided in different domains as per their expertise so that they can guide students to implement different projects in the area of specialization. So the six domains are listed over here as communication, embedded and IoT, signal processing, antenna and microwave, electronic devices and circuits, and information technology. Now, talking about the curriculum, before autonomy, we were following the University of Mumbai curriculum. So the range of credits was 175 to 180 and more focus was put on the core courses. After autonomy, we could strengthen our present courses to bridge the gap which existed between, existed between the curriculum and the industry requirements. So we introduced holistic student development scheme and also we introduced programs in the emerging areas of specialization. So we could offer more choices to the students to pursue skill-oriented courses. So post-autonomy, we see that our curriculum is right now based on AICT model curriculum. We have introduced the HMS scheme and also we have included skill-based programs such as internship, major minor and activity points. Few of the program offerings under autonomy is we have focused more on the emerging areas of engineering and technology. We have introduced employability skill development. We also have all-round personality development model through the holistic development scheme or the holistic multidisciplinary scheme. We recognize the students who are doing very good at national or international level by providing them extraordinary credits. We are also offering additional 18 credits under the specialization programs, which can be done through SWAM and online MOOC portals. To enhance the skill of the students, we encourage the students to perform their practicals as well as skill-oriented courses in the laboratories. 
So the laboratories are equipped with latest equipment such as the satellite trainer kits, the antenna measurement system, the Cisco packet tracer, microcontroller and microprocessor kits, and various measuring and uh, equipment such as DSOs and CROs. Now the department offers two specialization programs. One is in the field of Internet of Things, and the second is in cybersecurity. The students can pursue these specialization programs at a self space and can earn the additional 18 credits in semester three to semester eight. To support the all-round development of activities, the college has provided holistic development along with the academics. So we have the holistic multidisciplinary activities such as project-based learning, activity-based learning, and research-based learning. Activity-based learning is carried on in the second year. Few of the activities which are done under the ABL includes e-waste management quiz, personality de development test, online treasure hunt, etc. Project-based learning is done in the third year. Few of the activities which are conducted under PBL scheme are web development, gamification, etc. Research-based learning, which is conducted in the final year, is sufficient to inculcate research culture amongst the students. The students are motivated to select their project topics and develop understanding of the research and technical paper writing. The students are also guided to convert their projects into prototypes, which encourages them to move forward towards establishing a starter. So few of the activities which are conducted under this research-based learning have been mentioned over here, such as debates, idea generation activity, research methodology, blog writing, etc. Now for professional skills, we are offering from second year to final year, the students are expected to complete certification courses in these two sectors. One is cloud architect and other is AI machine learning engineer. Here we are following the standards by national industry standard qualification pack, via which the students will learn the prerequisites and then they can complete the certification on their own. The institute also offers employability skill development program in the second year and the third year. This is conducted by the training and placement cell through which the students become more industry ready and increase their chance to get the placements. AICT has advised all the institutes to offer internship program to students. So in this course, the students get trained by industry personnel or in-house experts to facilitate the better understanding of the industry expectations and the industry work environment. So this internship, ESD, and the professional skills taken together churn the students to make them more versatile and industry ready to face the core placement as well as the IT placements. So few of the brands in IT which are coming for the placements over here which has been shown in the slide now, along with the IT sector, telecommunication is at its peak currently. The radios and transmitters are evolving into phones and internet networks. So today, the telecom industry is booming with 5G, 6G implementation and numerous applications in the field of IoT for smart devices. Few of the currently available sectors in ENTC related to communication and IoT has been shown in the slide. The students in their final year and third year are in, taken for industrial visit to outstation locations such as Delhi, Kerala, Goa, Rajasthan, etc. to visit various industries which will enhance their learning and facilitate the understanding of how the industries work. Few of the alumni achievements over a period of years has been listed in over here. The alumni not only are working in reputed companies in India and abroad, but some of them also has established their own companies. I would like to draw the special mention of Kumar Abhishek Singh and Mr. Nagesh Nair, who have graduated and done their post-graduation from IITs, and now they have established their own companies. Few recognized alumni has been mentioned over here, who are working in Microsoft, Amazon, and some people have also earned their places in Poland. 
as a certificate to the great work that we are doing, we have listed a few of the testimonials from the parents and from our alumni. So all stakeholders have shown great happiness and content with their association with Thakur College of Engineering and Technology. And this is reflected in their testimonials. So with this testimonial, I, Dr. Pahal Saha, Head of the Department of Electronics and Telecommunication, would like to express my sincere thanks from all the faculty members and lab assistants of Department of Electronics and Telecommunication Engineering. Have a great day. Thank you, everyone. A warm greetings to one and all. I, Dr. Sujata Alegavi, Head of the Department of B.Tech Internet of Things Department of Thakur College of Engineering and Technology College, would like to take you on a short journey of our department. Here, we'll talk about B.Tech IoT as a department, the career opportunities offered by our department, the course and the curriculum structure of our department, the projects and the research opportunities given by our department, the industry interactions and the internship programs taken up by the students, the activities which are participated by the students, and finally, the faculty which is well experienced and a well developed infrastructure. To talk about BTEC IoT, it's an upcoming emerging technological field with lot many career prospects and opportunities in the field of Internet of Things. The curriculum and the course structure is designed in such a way that the students not only lead in their theoretical practices, but also have a well-defined hands-on practical sessions to understand the full practical learning of the industry. Our students will be well equipped with specific skills and competencies which are required for a full stack developer. The projects, research opportunities and the collaborations that are done are especially with the IoT industry, which actually gives an in-depth knowledge to the students. The industry interactions and the internships which are taken up by the students are social and technical, which ensures that our students are technically strong and socially well developed. Talking with the vision and mission, which is aligned with the college vision and mission, our vision is to become a department of emerging technology where we create technologists for providing solutions for 21st century problems. For which the mission defined to achieve the vision is we create a creative mindset for the students and which gives them a leadership quality and an ethical attitude which will help them to innovate technologies and smarter services. Our branch was started in the academic year of 2020-2021. The establishment of our department was in the academic year 2021-2022. Our program offers four years of undergraduate BTEC Internet of Things program. We have eight faculty members with one PhD completed, three PhD pursuing and four postgraduate. We have three undergraduate labs which are very well equipped with all the software and the hardware requirements for a full stack developer of for the IoT department. We have two fully equipped classrooms with projectors and smart boards. We have common facilities such as seminar hall, multipurpose room, digital library and auditorium. Our department also have a department magazine named as ThinkTech where not only the students, but also the faculty, parents, and the industry personnel contribute their futuristic ideas. Now, when we talk about the scope of IoT, the, IoT, the scope of the IoT is well extensive. Here, we teach students about the IoT technologies and the applications. Our syllabus is actually an amalgamation of all the subjects which are related to IoT and computer related topics, which helps them to actually become a full stack developer and it also helps them to have digital transformations and innovations in various sectors. We have IoT based application systems and services, which helps for integration of physical devices and digital technologies in the field. The important applications of IoT in various industries are identified as healthcare industry, where the applications will be remote patient monitoring, telemedicines and wearable devices, which have become very crucial after the COVID. Agricultural applications such as precision farming, livestock monitoring and smart irrigation, which is also important seeing into the upcoming need of food for the people. The next uh, industry is the manufacturing industry, which actually deals with the predictive maintenance, asset tracking, supply chain optimization, further transportation where connected vehicles, fleet management, small smart traffic control systems are implemented. Finally, the smart cities where the energy management, waste management and public safety is of utmost importance. 
The career opportunities that our department offers is not only from the product manager as an IIT develop developer, but also as a domain specialist in the IoT department. We also offer the robotic process automation expertise such as RPA consultant, solution architect, till support analyst. Also, the domain of ERVR consultant till ERVR support analyst is also fulfilled with our career opportunities. The curriculum and the course structure is well equipped with 174 credits which are in alignment with the NEP 2020 which offers flexible curriculum with multiple entry and multiple exist. It also offers a complete multidisciplinary and holistic education with, along with the skill qualifications. Our curriculum as said before is an amalgamation of IoT, computer, electronics and telecommunication and cyber security related fields. We have a multidisciplinary approach where our students can take up with open electives and professional electives to have an all-around development. The professional skills apart from the curriculum that we offer are IoT Network Specialist 1 and 2, ARVR Architect 1 and 2, which are of NASCOM level of NCQF 6 and 7. Further, the hands-on learning and training opportunities are provided by the department, programs such as Power Skill, IET Photoshop, Workshop on Power BI, Microsoft Azure with AI ML, Workshop on Python by Ludifo, IET Arduino workshops are conducted. These are all connected with the technical professional body under IET. Our students also undergo NEPTIL and Coursera online certification as an extension of our knowledge. The collaborations that we have done are with various IoT industries such as Built-in which is completely IoT driven based firm. Second is a glue track which deals with medical IoT. Third is with uh, EV that is Greta services which have electronic vehicle sites. Next is AAG Automations and Engineering Limited which is actually dealing with embedded systems. And finally is Cybernetics which actually deals with cyber security. Further, there are many internship opportunities given to the students under summer and winter internships to make them socially and technically strong. For summer internship, many internships such as UX design, web development, full stack developer, secure mobile app development, digital marketing, data science, robotic process automations are offered and students can take up any one of this. Under winter internship, we have Gali Foundation classes, Foundation, Junoon Foundation, Spurs Charitable Trust, which are actually taking up our students to make them socially responsible. The benefits of the industry exposure and networking are we have come up with lot many projects like smart door system, attendance system which is implemented in our college, helium balloon drone which is actually a part of an outreach program and a surveillance drone. Students are not only technically sound but also become uh, sound in extracurricular and co-curricular activities. They participate in act intercollegiate and college activities. Mr. Harshit Patel have got the third prize in Bits Pilani, which is an intercollegiate camp comp competition. Such Mrs. Sachi Mangera is actually an interdepartment solo dance competition, and Mr. Tanvir Vichavan has won a dance competition in Samsara and Aura. So we can see that there are many more achievements that are there. These are a few listed here. The students not only participate in extracurricular but also in technical events such as Multicon, that is our annual conference, as well as the as IT uh, IT professional body chapter competitions and other things. They also present uh, technical papers in uh, PBL, that is project based learning, and which is judged by the judges from the other colleges. We have various clubs and organizations in our department. We have a student chapter called as IT. Then we have a TEDx TCT body where we actually promote social uh, uh, so, social responsibility through the students and we have other activities which are taken up by the department uh, under astronomy club. The experience list and the achievements of our uh, few achievements of our faculty members are listed as shown here. Then we can see that our faculty members are highly experienced in the field and they have a fee, a, a expertise in various domains of IoT as well as the domains of computer science. So that the subjects such as blockchain and big data analysis, AI, ML, DL, which are very up, up, up booming, are actually taught by these people which are well experienced in their field. Finally, we can see the glimpse of our classrooms which are well equipped and well littered. And these are the research faculty facilities that are available. Here we have a digital library with more than 300 books. Our students have published 11 technical papers in Multicon. 
Why IoT students were a part of Mission Amrit Sarovar Jal Dharan Sanskran internship, which is actually under Ministry of India. Four IoT students have participated in Grand Onion Challenge under Department of Consumer Affairs, Ministry of Consumer Affairs, Food and Public Distribution. And we have actually gone to a DRM Mumbai uh, West, that is Western Railway office, for an initial visit to actually see how sensors are taking up the uh, taking up for the train transitions. Our academic toppers are as listed for both the batches, that is 2024 and 2021-25. Thank you. To ensure with, finally, we can, I can conclude that, saying that in uh, the we make students not only uh, we make students not only technically sound, but also make them a full set developer so that they're industry ready and socially responsible. Thank you.
हेलो एवरीवन आई एम डॉक्टर सीमा जगता हेड ऑफ सिविल इंजीनियरिंग डिपार्टमेंट वेलकम यू ऑल फॉर दिस सेशन टू नो अबाउट द ब्रांच सिविल इंजीनियरिंग इन द सिविल इंजीनियरिंग इट इज कॉम्पोजिट ऑफ मेनी स्पेसिफिक डिसिप्लिन लाइक स्ट्रक्चरल इंजीनियरिंग इन्वॉर्मेंटल इंजीनियरिंग ट्रांसपोर्टेशन इंजीनियरिंग जियो टेक्निकल इंजीनियरिंग वेस्ट वॉटर मैनेजमेंट एंड कंस्ट्रक्शन मैनेजमेंट मीन्स वॉट एवर यू विल सी आउट साइड वेदर इट विल बी अ क्रिएटेड बाय अ गॉड और इट इज मेड अप और कंस्ट्रक्टेड बाय अ सिविल इंजीनियर सो सिविल इंजीनियर इज इन्वॉल्व इन शॉर्ट फॉर कंस्ट्रक्शन ऑफ एनी काइंड ऑफ स्ट्रक्चर दे आर इन्वॉल्व टू टेक फॉरवर्ड द प्रॉपर इन्वॉल्वमेंट टू द फर्दर जनरेशन for transportation from one place to the another then related to the soil water and many construction management technologies so you can see they are involved everywhere as they are involved everywhere they have the numerous career opportunities after the civil engineering after civil engineering the student can choose for the field jobs that may be in the private sector public sector or government sector they can opt the career in research that is they can go for the further studies like mtech phd they can be a scientist in isro barc drdo they can opt for the management field that they can also do the mba pgd bm degree or they can also for training in a nikma in addition to that they can go for the same employment they can have their own license they can take their own work and they can be a entrepreneur or also they can go for the software job to their choice when we are talking about the private sector the student can go in the various different verticals like design and construction of buildings factories commercial complex township design and construction of infrastructure highways the railway stations airports sets ports power plants etc suppose we are talking about the water resources then they can go for construction of dams operation of dams canal hydraulic structure and construction planning and management when we are talking about the public sector the student can go to the various public sector industries like cell bell ntpc nhpc icon rit eil al hal nal oil sector ongc iocl hpcl then when we are talking about the government job through the upsc the student can become ias ips ir or any other wherever he has got cleared the upsc exam then when we are talking about the central government then student can go for ies c pwd railways water resource military then when we are talking about the state level exam that is the mpsc the student can go for the psc pwd water resource or jyotikaran now talking about the civil engineering department under the umbrella of thakur college of engineering and technology the civil engineering department has been started in the academic year 2014 15 we are offering the four year course of be civil so we have total 19 faculties in our department 252 are the departmental library books that the student can also uh, get avail if they require then total number of batches which are graduated that are five we have the professional chapter that is a international level student chapter American Society for Civil Engineers our student has membership for various professional bodies 
लाइक अमेरिकन सोसाइटी फॉर सिविल इंजीनियर्स आई एस टी एन एस एस एक्सेट्रा वी हैव टोटल टेन नंबर ऑफ लेबोरेटरीज एंड सिक्स क्लासरूम टू गिव द स्टूडेंट कंप्लीट होलिस्टिक एंड मल्टी डिसिप्लिनरी नॉलेज अबाउट द सिविल इंजीनियरिंग In addition to that, we are having the common facility like seminar hall one, two, three, four, central library, digital library, auditorium. According to the requirement for seminar for the conferences, these all common facility we can uh, use. Then publication. So yearly, uh, we are publishing the two departmental magazine. The name is Imar as well as Bulletin. and program resource book and course resource book. to give all this knowledge to the student we have total 19 faculty in the department among which three faculty had completed their phd in the different domain of water resources engineering structural engineering and geotechnical engineering four faculty members are pursuing their phd from the reputed institutions like uh, svnit uh, spc etc 16 faculty members are the on mtech now just have a look about our infrastructure we have the material testing laboratory where the student can test all kind of material like tiles then uh, they can concrete block timber then uh, steel bars etc all kind of soils etc they can test then we have the surveying laboratory so whatever is the project whatever is the construction going on the first thing you have to do the proper survey and you have to keep the proper uh, location of your uh, columns or column footing so surveying where all advanced equipment like total station is available uh, in addition to the dumpy level and credolite tachometer etc then fluid mechanics the student will study about uh, water and water related then geotechnical engineering where the student will study about the soil applied hydraulics laboratory the student will uh, study about a uh, rain tunnel then uh, tilting fluid various kind of turbine and all that that uh, models that replica are there so that the student will get exact practical exposure for whatever they are studying then uh, we have the concrete technology lab where we are doing the complete testing about the concrete in addition to that we have the proper setup for uh, curing of the cubes and then uh, we have various uh, models of minerals and rocks in the engineering geology lab along with various models of tunnel uh, then environmental engineering uh, we can do the testing on water waste water as well as solid then if we are talking about the life and thakur college of engineering and technology we try to give the complete thorough knowledge to the student to various team activities so we have the frequent visit to the uh, structures uh, to the various site visits within a mumbai as, as well as outside mumbai we are giving the education to the student through various debates and various conversation through the various games and proper one to one will be there so we have various unique practices like uh, to groom up in the student about the uh, ethics and other social uh, things so we are providing them the social internship in house internship and out house internship to give the proper idea about the working in an industry to the student then for the in house internship we are choosing the emerging topics like interior design extreme civil engineering structures model making traffic simulation etc then we are also giving the student professional skill like uh, autocad google sketchup midas jn barbering schedule and so many 
Then in addition to that, we are giving students the employability skill development. So it is a multidisciplinary part. So suppose the student is interested in the software jobs, then he can also opt. So we are giving them the basic knowledge about the Python, Java, with web development using HTML. So specialization course also we are offering for civil as well as other branch students that are smart infrastructure and green technology and sustainability. So due to that, I'm very happy to share with you that our many students are doing higher education in abroad to the very renowned universities. You can see the list. Here, I have put very few students, otherwise there is uh, nearby 30 to 40 percent students are going to the higher studies. In, uh, uh, we have alumni students, they are placed at the very reputed uh, industries in a globe. So you, uh, here also I had put the very few students, our student part Dougie. He uh, is the working as a source view engineer at uh, Turner Construction Company, uh, Washington, United States. Then Smith Cheda, project engineer as KSK Construction Group, New York City, Metropolitan Area. Dheeraj Sarogi, assistant construction manager at Muni's Concrete and Contracting industry at Austrian Texas, United States. Then Deep City is working in Canada, Arpit City in United States, that is Indiana. Shivan Tambe is working with a New York, uh, office engineer at Hill International, New York, United States. In addition to the uh, placement, uh, if we will see the professional placement, our student, few of the students also got selected in the, the state level uh, thing. So if you will see Nuclear Power Corporation of India, this student got selected as a, a scientist. Then uh, if we will see this uh, unique uh, Kansara, he is a junior engineer at Rajasthan Public Work Department. Vikas Prajapati is a design engineer at Tehri Hydroelectric uh, Development Corporation, Uttarakhand. Sachin Dubi is working as a junior engineer at Central Public Work Department. Sanskriti Guge is a junior engineer at Water Resources, uh, various uh, higher studies all around the globe. In addition to that, the student also doing their M.Tech from various IITs and NITs in India as well as VJTI at home. So, I wanted to quote in the end, civil engineers refers to practice of organizing the design and construction of any artifice which transforms the physical world around us to meet some recognized need. Thank you. Hello, I am Dr. Sudha Krumalu. I want to give you some information on mechanical and mechatronics engineering and additive manufacturing branch of Thakur College of Engineering and Technology, Mumbai. First, I want to give the introduction on MME department, mechanical and mechatronics engineering, additive manufacturing is an essential branch for the growth of industries in automation and manufacturing. This branch was established in 2021-22 at Thakur College of Engineering and Technology, shortly known as TCET. This branch deals with major subjects including robotics, control systems, automations, and electromechanical systems. The scope of the mechanical MME department, this branch is one of the most important branches of engineering in terms of Industry 4.0. 
the students would be trained in the integration of electrical mechanical and software components to develop products and systems nowadays this branch is considered as an interdisciplinary field of engineering we have some important labs like strength of material labs so it is used for testing of materials which are used in the industries second is that is industry 4.0 lab that is 3d printer lab one print 3d printer lab is visible to you and this is the 3d printer lab second lab is uh, hydro pneumatic labs it is used in or it is used for mechanical branch for the study of pneumatics and hydraulic pressures now we have a, another important lab that is automation lab it is used in the mechatronics lab computer lab now what is the importance of mme department this branch uses techniques of mechanical electrical and computer engineering branches tct has taken initiative to design a curriculum for this branch considering the above requirements students should be able to learn all these subjects which are the basic concepts of the industries the students should be made very very smart giving advanced automation technology in manufacturing and making smart factories the importance of mme department are these technological skills should be given to students in tct this is the important branch to get the right qualification the senior faculty members would be able to transfer job trainings and experiences through project based learning and skill based learning for all students the significance of the branch is very important in engineering systems therefore students should be trained in critical thinking and risk taking abilities more importance is given in tct to practical applications and hands on experience the innovative examination is part of the curriculum to encourage students to improve their ability to understand and deliver the contents in the best way through the internship program students should be able to learn practical issues and real world experience in the industry these experiences are important for the students the department is focusing more on internships in the curriculum the significance of the branch are the rapid advancements in the additive manufacturing robotics automation electronics materials iot etc have brought about a paradigm shift in the technical education hence it is taught in the department the department is integrating these emerging technologies in the curriculum to ensure graduates are conversant with the new advanced technologies the department is trying to align educational programs with the industry trends and students are trained to be ready for industry problems the what are the importance of mme branch in the industries the department is trying to align practical and education programs with industry trends and students are trained to be ready for industrial problems the department is focusing on the need for lifelong learning and continuous professional development of the student through holistic development value added courses are introduced in the curriculum to encourage teamwork innovation and entrep- entrepreneurship important training is provided to students to encourage employability skills soft skills behavioral skills and aptitude training i invite all the students to join the mme course in the first year and the direct second year admissions after the diploma the facilities and resources offered by the department will surely enhance the students talents and this will eventually contribute to their ideas for further growth of the nation so this is the major question Uh, for parent, parents and students why do we need a mme branch the answer is a degree in mechatronics can lead to management positions including project management in different and it is used in different laboratories and in the processing plants mechatronics specialist can work in the fields of cyber security telecommunications computer science automotive engineering robotics artificial intelligence and consumer products and packaging so uh, that's why uh, to satisfy the industry needs mme department has designed the curriculum some courses and we have framed the schemes for the from first year to final year students now this program is for uh, is a four year duration course the average number of subjects per semester is about 4 to 
it includes core subjects professional electives open electives value added courses and professional skill development courses the value added courses and professional skill development courses are added to the curriculum to understand the social responsibility indian constitution socio economic issues climate change human values and environmental conditions so placement of the students are very important that's why we have taken some initiative it is necessary to promote placements in the department some of the subjects are introduced in the curriculum like employability development skills soft skills and aptitude training the courses are organized by the placement cell through this training program students are trained to develop some of the techniques of group discussion communication skills and learning skills students may be interested to pursue the major subjects in particular domain to achieve their learning and career goals thank you very much thank you